your child may have what it takes to become the next great digital visionary. You just have to allow it to take root. Coding shouldn't be something just computer scientists do. It should be something everyone can do. And Root makes that possible. It starts with a language so simple that a young child can use it even before they know how to read. If this, then that. At first, coding with Root might look like simple blocks. But this coding is very real. Root engages the part of a child's brain that thinks analytically and unleashes the creativity within. Root can be used on just about any surface, making it a great platform to create all kinds of challenges and games with friends. It's easy for coding to feel abstract, but Root teaches computer programming in a new way, making coding a real-time and interactive experience. Kids think of things they want to do and push themselves to that next level to see what they've imagined come to life. Or they can explore other people's programs from around the world and make them their own. When coding with Root, the only real limit is curiosity. Root is the only robot of its kind that offers this many learning opportunities. This makes the journey from simple blocks to full text coding languages intuitive. Makers and researchers can have some fun too by adding 3D printed parts and other accessories. With Root, it's not about having one experience. It's about making experiences. Root is the best way for anyone to fall in love with coding. Where they go from there is completely up to them. We've been working on Root for several years here at Harvard. At first, I wanted Root for my undergraduate classroom to teach AI and intro to robotics. But then we realized that kids of all ages like Root, and there's so many things you can learn with it. We've tested Roots in schools and homes and met some really amazing educators and parents along the way, and it really never gets old uh, watching kids come alive programming with Root. We're not just here to get Root into production. We want to change the world in a small but important way. Coding is something that everyone should grow up with. With your support, your kids, and many more can experience the joy of programming. Advanced robots are redefining modern warfare, changing the rules for sporting competitions, and going places no human would dare. They can camouflage themselves using intricate papercraft disguises. They're becoming faster and more agile than their human peers, and they're being programmed by fifth graders. I did that. Programming is an important skill for kids to learn, but unless we make it fun, kids are never gonna stick with it. Kamibot reimagines programming education as something fun and affordable. We're constantly expanding the collection of papercraft characters that you can download and print from our website. You can even use skins which you have created for yourselves. Kamibot is based on open source Arduino technology that's easy for kids to program using a computer. While Kamibot is fully controllable with a phone or tablet, it also includes IR sensors that let it follow a black line on the ground, as well as programmable ultrasonic sensors which help it avoid obstacles. DC motors on both wheels let it turn easily, and a servo motor on top allows you to turn the head of your paper craft characters. Color changing LEDs? Those are just for fun. We've been perfecting Kamibot for over a year now. And over the last few months, we've been testing our final prototype with kids in Korea. In our experience, kids love playing with Kamibot, and parents love that their kids are gaining useful programming skills and boosting creativity while they play. So we're turning to you to help get Kamibot into homes and classrooms all around the world. If you believe like we do that programming should be fun, we'd be honored for you to join us by contributing to our campaign. I got you. We're working on Scratch Junior, which is a programming language for young kids, specifically designed for five to seven year olds, and it's designed with them in mind, so it's developmentally appropriate, and children can create animated stories, interactive games, collages, or anything they imagine. 
I like Scratch Junior because there's so many programs that you could make. It's like you can make your own movie. You basically get to make your own game and do it yourself. A few years ago, my research group at the MIT Media Lab introduced Scratch, a new programming language that lets kids ages eight and up create their own interactive stories and games and animations. And kids around the world have been making millions of projects with Scratch. A couple of years ago, we started a collaboration with Mitch at the MIT Media Lab to explore how we could extend Scratch for a version that's specifically designed for young children. Here's how the game works. You have to guess which one from this row makes which one from this row invisible. And you win if you, you win if you get all three right. Computer programming or coding is like a new form of writing, a new type of literacy. Like writing, when people learn to code, they learn new ways of organizing their thinking, new ways of expressing ideas. So when you learn to code, you're learning many other things. You're not just learning to code, you're coding to learn. Now, until now, people have generally seen coding as something very difficult, accessible only to a small subset of the population. But that's starting to change. We really think that coding can be and should be for everyone. We believe that learning how to code is a way to express yourself. It allows children to think in a systematic way. So while they're expressing themselves, they're also thinking about steps and problem solving and what comes first and what comes next, and that's sequencing. And sequencing is an important skill that leads to academic success. Do you know what that does? No, yeah, tell me. It makes it wait 50 seconds. Wow, how did you know? There's a clock. We designed Scratch Junior to match developmental abilities of young children. We look at cognitive, social, personal capabilities and we design the features of Scratch Junior to match what young children can do. We work with teachers, we work with children, we work with parents and we observe what they were able to do, what they were not able to do and we went back and redesigned Scratch Junior many, many, many times so it can really be a tool for young children. Being a teacher in an inclusive classroom, we have such differentiated needs. So this idea that there's an entry point for all the different kids in my class, regardless of where they're at with their learning, there's some way that they can get into it and start playing around and start learning how to create things, that there's a, a point of entry for everybody in my class. We're now working on a version of Scratch Junior for the iPad, and we're really excited to get it out to the world so that young children ages five to seven can start following their imaginations and creating with Scratch Junior. We want Scratch Junior to be free so that kids from all backgrounds have easy access to it. But that means we need to raise funds to support the development of the software and the resources and support materials. We really hope that you'll be able to help us finish the development of Scratch Junior so that young children will be able to learn to code and code to learn. Coding is a crucial new form of literacy, a skill we believe every child must learn. Our journey began with the idea that children learn best through physical play. We asked ourselves, how do we take code learning beyond the computer screen and make it more engaging for young learners? This led us to develop physical coding. Plobot uses command cards to make programming intuitive, visual, and easy to understand. These cards represent the same coding blocks that programmers use, but without the confusing syntax. By swiping these cards in sequence, kids string together instructions to help Plobot reach a goal. Programming turns into this fun, hands-on game. Even the youngest learners can get started right away. Swipe, play, and learn. By breaking down a task into steps, kids exercise their problem-solving skills and harness their creativity. With expansion packs, Plobot grows with your child's progress, challenging them to explore and imagine new solutions. With Plobot, we are giving kids a head start. We are building something that encourages children not to just consume technology, 
but to create, to go out there, experiment, and have fun. There's a lot of potential in a physical coding platform that makes learning more accessible and playtime more productive. That's what really drives us, to help kids become better thinkers through play. And we're very excited to bring this new approach to more people. And we invite you to become part of this journey.